as DPP, Director of Public Prosecution, you see a lot of cases you don't want to see. This one, j just so sickening. I think the whole country stopped. Um, and, you know, every thought goes out to that family in these awful, awful situations. It's one of those cases, I think, that um, absolutely touches the heart of all of us, even hardened people, in a sense, people like me who've prosecuted cases for five years and seen um, some pretty awful cases. This um, was just awful. And so whilst, we, whilst I was speaking to our party, talking to the country, yes. and we had a very good week, I cut, there's a bit of me that, that just is, is, is there with the family, just thinking what they were going through yesterday, and, and obviously over the various months that have passed back, since the awful incident. Back to Brighton in a moment, just to finish that up. Does there need to be a review of the Met and other police forces? I'm later in the show, Sir Keir, I'm going to detail that there do appear to have been opportunities where this man could, and many would argue should have been caught, Keir Starmer. Yeah, I think that, Nick, that is the key issue, which is how did he slip through the net? Because there were obviously warning signs. So how did he get through um, the net? I, I, I know that, um, you know, thousands upon thousands of, of police officers doing a fantastic job up and down the country are absolutely sickened um, by this. But um, obviously it's got, to, how on earth did he get through the net is the critical question that has now just got to be answered.